Okay, so welcome back to Move Over Martha. Today we are going to be stamping on some cookies, some sugar cookies. I have been doing this for quite some time. I The first time I ever did it, I did it with a Christmas cookie and it came out really great. It's inexpensive. You can make a bunch of them. Um, I've since then perfected the craft by using some better dough and stuff like that. If you want a great dough recipe, then you need to watch my stained glass cookie um, tutorial. And that has a great dough recipe, which I used for this um, cookie here. Um, it's a thick cookie. It's not going to break. So I made, um, I bought the nesting heart Wilton cookie cutters and I made my cookie a little bit bigger and now my my stamping part is going to be a little smaller to kind of fit into there. So here is the list of supplies. You need a rolling pin. This is the Wilton fondant rolling pin. I use this to roll out my dough too. The only thing is I have the pins on um, the bands on there for rolling out dough but when we're doing fondant I'm gonna take the band off because you want the fondant to be real thin. No one likes to eat a really thick layer of fondant so you need a rolling pin, a smaller cookie cutter, some royal icing, some rubber stamps. They must be rubber stamps that you have never used before ever they need to be just regular plain this I did use yesterday and I had a cookie party here at the house and the girls used this to stamp on the fondant so it's been used but it was used with food coloring ink next you need a ink pad that has never had ink on it I got these ink pads from Michaels and it says glue pad I wish I kept the packaging it came in but it came with the pad and then a separate tube of glue. There was never any glue on this pad. It was a dry pad that you were supposed to put the glue on. I just threw the glue out, <coughs> excuse me, and then filled this with food ink. Now you can use liquid ink, like if you got it at the grocery store or whatever. I just used the Wilton, the little jar of the food gel, and I put it on a paper towel and I just rubbed it all over that pad and made my own ink pad. So I have a black one and a red one. I got some of these stamps at Michael's. They're only like a dollar, which is great because you're not spending a whole lot to use this. You know, you can use this for stamping projects after the fact, but once you've used regular ink, um, you can't ever use this for food. So uh, stamp pads, some royal icing, cookie cutter, a cookie, some ink pads with food coloring, and a rolling pin. I'm going to go ahead and get the fondant. We're going to roll it out. I talked in the other um, video too about parchment paper. We're going to use this to roll it out. I threw some water on the counter so that this parchment paper doesn't slide when you're rolling it. It's a great little trick. So let me get some fondant, start rolling it out, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I got my fondant. I'm rolling it out. You want to roll it kind of thin, not as thick as the cookie. And you're just going to keep flattening it out. And then I am going to take my ink pad with the food coloring. This is the Wilton food coloring, by the way. They sell it at like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, all that jazz. I'm going to take my ink pad. I'm going to ink it like I'm just ready to... Um, stamp on a piece of paper. I'm going to get that really inked up. And the thing with this food coloring is a little bit goes a long way. So you don't have to like load the pad up. I loaded this um, not last night but the night before. Um, I had 11 girls come and do cookies. They each did two stamped cookies a piece and the ink pad was still wet enough for me two days later to do this. So a little goes a long way. I like to um, cut my image with the cookie cutter and then pull my piece away, pull it off, pull the excess off. And it's you got to be really careful because like I have a little bit of ink on my fingers so it's going to get some ink but just smooth your edges since the cookie cutter kind of Makes it a little frayed. Unless you like that little weathered look, that looks cute too. So I just smooth the edges. Sorry if I'm getting out of frame. It's hard to 
do this and talk. I'm just going to take my stamp and stamp down on the fondant, not pressing too hard, and I'm going to pull away. And look how nice that image is. It's a little light, so next time I probably might re-ink the pad, but I think it looks just as lovely. And now what I'm going to do is take my royal icing and I'm going to make kind of like, think of this as like Elmer's glue, if you will. And I'm just going to, you don't have to be really specific and precise because this is going to be under the cookie. So no one's really going to see it. Then I'm going to take my stamped out fondant and I'm going to lay it on top of my cookie. Now, if you stamped right on the cookie, it's, it's not going to be as nice. You're not going to see it as well. So you really do need to have um, that smooth surface to stamp on, and fondant works best for that. Um, now you can go back in and put, like, little dragees all around the edges, or you can put sprinkles all around the outside edge of the cookie and decorate it as nice, you know, or as underdone as you want. This makes a great thing if you want to make, like, um, a business card, say, you're starting your own business. You could go to Staples and get a stamp made with your phone number and everything with, um, you know, non-inked stamp pad, have it made for like 20 bucks, bring it home and make your own cookies with your own little address on it. Um, you could do thank you card, like a thank you card, you could do it in a square, make it like a postcard. The, really, it's endless, the ideas you could do, but it's just really simple. That cookie dough makes about five dozen cookies. I do a star cookie for Christmas, and I get about five dozen cookies out of that. So, if you, uh, have a big project to do, it'll go a long way, and it's a little bit of money spent for a nice project. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will be seeing you soon. Hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Talk to you soon.